Well, we're whipping up a wash here, doing some exploring. And uh, Rick's with us today. There's his rig. And we're just in a little bitty wash. And there's Bruno, or Bosco as I call him, and Tammy. Hello, everybody. And look what we found. There's another one up on the hill. This is a, they dug a pocket or out something in here, but look how mineralized this is. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And it's a hole. It's a beagle hole. Not really deep, but boy, you'd have a rough time getting out of there, wouldn't you? It looks like they dug a pocket out or followed one in or we're just looking. It's hard to say without being here to see it, but you can see the mineralization in the rock that drew them here, right over there at the bottom of that bank of dirt. I'm gonna walk up over here and see if there's anything over the other side. This is from a long time ago. Pretty cool stuff. I like exploring these old mines. You can see up on the hillside there, there's another shaft punched in. There's private property behind us, so we can't go in over there, but we're gonna walk up here and have a look. It's right up this wash. I'll be right back. Caved in here. The conglomerate bedrock is caved in, exposing this mineralized seam in here. And look at some of the rocks that's in this stuff, man. This is this has got some pretty good gold indicators. We're gonna go over here and see what's over the hill. Yeah, looks like they've been poking around. Somebody's been digging around in this bank quite a bit in here. Going up top of the hill. And... Uh, nice little wash in here. Bedrock exposed all the way down. All right, we're gonna drive up this wash farther and see what we can find. This is really interesting stuff. Yes, sir. -y. Big old pack rat nest there. Yeah, we're gonna head back down there. There's that hole from the other side. That's a pretty cool looking hole, man. <laughs> it's, it's a big one. This is Rick. Say hi, Rick. Hi. Good friend. We hunt stuff together. Find stuff together. Well, hope to find stuff together. So anyway, back to the buggy. We're gonna go up the wash. Tammy's walking Bruno up the hill over here, so we'll uh, we'll be back in a minute. I don't know if the camera is going to bring out the colors in this stuff. I hope so. Look at that. Look at the iron stain on this stuff, folks. It's real obvious to me why they went after this hole. <laughs> real obvious. I'm sure they took some good stuff out of there. This area is known for uh, pockets to where material decomposed and left the gold in pockets. And you get in the right spot and with your detector, you can dig out several ounces out of one hole. Pretty amazing. So anyway, we're going back to the buggy. I'll be back in a minute. Well, today I got myself all tethered and strapped into my zoot suit. <laughs> into my GPZ setup. It's a pretty heavy machine to uh, use this harness setup. Mine lab supplies with it to uh, keep it from wearing you down too much. I'm swinging the darn thing. It weighs, I don't know, six or seven pounds. Maybe a little less. It's pretty heavy. But uh, Tammy's already over here working. And I'm going to go work these little hillsides right here. I've already got some gold off this area. Just over the hill there and we're going to uh, try to see if we can get a couple pieces. This is an old mine. This is They pushed all this over here doing their reclaim when they took the big piles down. And our camp last time was over here. I really like this spot. Real pretty. And a lot of dry wash tailings. You can probably see them over there. I taught you guys what to look for as far as that goes. And there's some nice piles right over there. And we're gonna give it a go. 
Wish us luck. I'll be back. I hope. Yeah, all right, first good target of the day down in here. I've got the uh, headphones unplugged so you can hear it through the speaker box. This machine has a wireless system. And uh, today we're hunting in high yield, sensitivity about seven. And um, you got it all balanced and ready to go. This machine goes incredibly deep, even on small stuff, but we got a nice target. I've got about the first five inches taken off, and we're gonna keep digging. I thought I'd better hook up. We're down so deep. Let's see what we got down here. Still there. Sounds like it's down a ways. Now we always recheck our holes after we dig too. I have people commenting sometimes that I could have left something in the hole or we always recheck our holes. This one's right down on bedrock. I'm down to the bedrock now out of the hole hmm all right I'm gonna have to move the camera oh come on this machine can be a challenge Right here. We got her. Okay, cross your fingers. In my hand. Still in here. Yep, piece of iron it looks like. Yep, piece of metal. It's part of the game, isn't it? Off we go. Well, this one was down a ways. I thought I had something. And uh, <laughs> it's a bullet, pretty modern bullet. Yeah, it sure sounded good. Okay, well, oops, back at it. Yeah, can't all be gold now, can they? I'm gonna get Tammy to film this. I'm uh, digging a deep hole here. Look at this thing. Right now it's uh, almost as deep as my pick handle. All right, and I'm working with the GPZ 7000. And I don't know if it's trash or gold, but we're gonna dig it up and see. Watch out, Bruno, you get hit in the head, buddy. Bruno. Bruno, get out the way, buddy. I don't know what we got in here, but it's big and it's deep. Almost to the bedrock. Oh my. Really? You gotta hit bedrock pretty soon down here, I think.
That's the deepest hole I dug in a while. Yeah. I remember a couple years ago it's we dug it. I helped you dig a deep one. It's out of the hole. Really? Nothing stuck on my magnet, is there? No. You got it in the uh, scoop? Yep. So, do we have a heartbreaker or a smile maker? Something big hit my hand. Oh no. What? Uh, what is it? A bullet. That's a bullet down deep. Dang, that was deep. That is very deep. That was down easily. Wow. Easily 20 inches or better. Yep. Uh. All right, back to the old drawing board. Okie dokie. No gold today. One heartbreaker. Horrible heartbreaker. Measured my pick. We're down over two feet. Pretty close. That bullet. And uh, dug a lot of trash, a lot of lead, stuff like that. And I really enjoy the GPZ 7000. It's getting targets out there where they're, it's been hunted pretty hard. So, yeah, who knows? Tomorrow maybe we'll get over a nugget with it. But I always try to tell you folks, especially the ones new to this, that we don't get gold every time we hunt. Oh, no. Uh -uh. And, uh, I just try to represent what it's really like out here and it shouldn't bother you that you're not finding gold all the time because none of us really do we just don't um, every now and then you get lucky uh, a few small ones here and there those are pretty common but every now and then you get over a whopper that's what we're hoping for tomorrow and uh, look at the yellow on these hills over here folks isn't that something and remember folks hit that subscribe button uh, Maybe that like button too, ring that bell, and I'd sure like to hear your comments. Always welcome. Always like to hear. If you got any ideas, something you'd like to see, just let me know. It'll be up there. And we got runaway chihuahuas over there. Come on, y'all. Get over here. But until tomorrow, Tammy's going to make her, uh, what do you call that stuff? I'm going to make peach cobbler in a Dutch oven. Peach cobbler in a Dutch oven. So for right now, it's. Nugget Shooterette. And Nugget Shooter out. Have a nice evening, y'all. See you next time.